Hi, everybody, and welcome to day five of our energy journey. How is everybody doing out there? How are you doing? I'm feeling pretty good today. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, today, we are going to talk about um, recognizing our triggers and patterns and also give some thought to what we're consuming mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually on the daily because that's part of what impacts your energy and what you're experiencing every single day. So we're going to kind of talk about that a little bit, but we are going to start pulling some um, advice from spirit as we begin these just, you know, it'll be fun. Yeah. So spirit, give us some advice for day five. Oh, this is a nice message. If you know who Ansel, if you don't know who Ansel Adams is, a uh, famous, famous photographer. Okay. And this is uh, the advice key is passage. Sometimes I arrive just when God is ready to have someone click and shudder. Ansel Adams. That is all about timing right there. Like that is such a beautiful message. Let me see if I can get it up. The light will let you see it. There we go. Kind of. Yeah. That is such a beautiful message. This is timing. This is a message from spirit, from the universe that what's meant for you, you're going to show up just in the right time. As he said, sometimes I arrive just when God is ready to have someone click and shudder and he captures the perfect picture. And That's amazing. yeah. So I really love this advice for today mm -hmm. for all of us. Um, Divine timing is truly everything. That's what I was saying yesterday, too. Mm -hmm, you were, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so recognizing your triggers and patterns and how to heal them. Now, um, one thing I want to point out about triggers, and um, this is for me, like this is how I have experienced them um, for the most part. You may have different experiences and that's okay. Um, I'm just sharing the way I perceive. And so triggers are two things to me. One, um, it's an indication of something that is not healed within you um, that needs to be addressed. Or two, a trigger is when you're trying to um, connect to something that is just not a vibrational match to you whatsoever. And so a good example of that is... Um, like you, now that you have a child, you um, really cannot watch any sort of true crime mm -hmm. around yeah. children because it, it just sends you over the edge, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's because now that you are, you know, a mother, you've changed, you've evolved, mm -hmm. and you see um, the little ones from a whole different yeah, perspective absolutely. now. Yeah, it's so hard. Yeah, so you can't even watch something like that. It's mm -mm. so triggering to you because it's so far against your heart and your soul. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really important to start recognizing your triggers and what exactly it means. Um, sometimes if you're um, dealing with somebody and, you know, that you feel like they're triggering you, it might not be that you have the problem and you need to heal and you have all these unresolved issues. It may be like what they're saying, their energy, just who they are is nowhere near a match to you. So everything they're doing and saying is just like ants on your skin. It's rubbing you the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And so I just really want to have you think about that because for a long time, I would always think every time I was triggered, like, oh my gosh, what's wrong inside of me? What do I got to face? What do I got to heal? And then over time I realized, okay, sometimes it's... um it's not about that you need healing or that something's off. And I'll, I'll give a quick example um, for me personally. Um, a few years ago, I was going to do um, this like retreat thing with some other spiritual ladies. And um, there was three of them, two of them I absolutely adored. I clicked with, we just flowed. It was great. One of the three, she just, no, like we did not click. Um, and I had my reasons why. And um, at the time, you know, I was trying to say, okay, maybe it's me. Maybe I just need to get over myself, you know, like what's going on. 
And over time, I realized it was who she was and what she stood for and her vibration that was repelling me. And at the time, one of my friends said, well, maybe this is a lesson in unconditional love for you. And also there was a lesson about abundance because um, this lady was trying to charge just an incredibly ridiculous amount for a ticket price on something, which I just wasn't feeling. And so they were like, well, maybe you need to open up to abundance and maybe you need to practice unconditional love. And you know what? I was open to that because mm -hmm. you've got to be self-aware. If you want to grow, you want to expand, you have to realize where your hangups are, where you need to work and where you need to grow. Absolutely. And so I really tried and, and it just like that feeling got more and more and more intense to finally the point where I was like, you know what? No, can't do this. Can't be involved in this. I'm not feeling this. That it's just, no, like I was literally shaking in my body. I've never felt anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I pulled out from my part and everything because of just what I was feeling and going through. And now when I look back, that was a huge lesson from spirit that when you're being triggered, it's not always that you need to grow and change. I don't have any issues with abundance. I, I really don't like abundance was really flowing in my life at that time. Yeah. But I thought, okay, maybe, you know, and, um, what that lady stood for, I still, to this day, I would never agree. I, I just, that's just not me. So really, really observe when you are being triggered and, and connect to your soul. And is this, is there some shadow energy in me that's being triggered or is this a sign? Is this a red flag that this situation, this person is nowhere near in alignment with who and what I am. Therefore I need to like remove my energy because it's just friction. Yeah. And that's okay. Like, it's yeah, it's all right. Do mm -hmm. You don't like, you don't have to get along with everybody. And that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. And everybody doesn't have to like you. That's it's totally okay. You know, um, Everybody has different interests, likes, et cetera. But for this, it's like really recognizing yourself and knowing. Um, and then when it is a trigger of something that you need to work on, then you need to work on that. Like um, I was in a relationship and I was worried that my uh, boyfriend was cheating. I, I shouldn't say worried. I was feeling it intuitively, but, you know, trying to act like it wasn't there because it's not what I wanted to hear. Yeah. And <clears throat> I had a friend, a male friend, who went to Las Vegas with one of his female friends, but he had a girlfriend. And now nothing happened between him and his female friend. Like they were just truly friends, but he kept it a secret from the girlfriend. And I knew that he did that and I lost it. I lost my shit on him yeah. because I was triggered for my own insecurities about my relationship. And here's my friend like going behind his girl's back to have a, you know, fun weekend in Vegas with his friends. And he wasn't being scandalous. Like he wasn't misbehaving. Yeah. But it's just, but he wasn't telling the girlfriend because he just didn't want to hear it and he wanted to go. And, um, I nearly ended my friendship with him. We had been friends since I was like 18. I was in my early thirties at this point. And that's how triggered I was because I was refusing to face. But that's good though, to encourage that. Yes. So uh, to, to, to discourage dishonesty. Yes, yes. Fine. But I, it was beyond that. Like I lost my mind on him. Like as if he was, he was my doing, man yeah. and that's what he was doing to me. Dang. Yeah. And he was even like, what the, and, um, at the time I didn't realize it, but looking back, I'm like, I was triggered as hell because that, that was in my face of my own issue in my life that I was refusing to deal with. Mm -hmm. And, um, we worked through it. We worked through that. And I apologized eventually <laughs> for, for that. But yeah, I just, I was, all that feeling I had for my relationship, I was just projecting it on yeah. him, mm -hmm. like spewing it on him. And I felt so justified because what he did was wrong. Mm -hmm. And I, that was like my mouth and I was standing on, no, I don't care if you weren't cheating, you lied to her, you went behind her. Like, oh, it just triggered, triggered me so badly. But, you know, and that spirit was putting that in my path. So I would face my reality of my situation 
and deal with it instead of just mm-hmm. trying to turn the other way. And mm-hmm. so when you are triggered because something needs to be healed inside of you, heal of that because um, you could alienate some people because you, for as long as it's there, somebody's going to be popping up to just put it right back in your face. Like the world is a mirror, truly, truly. Yeah. So um, just really start paying attention of, does this need to be healed in me or is this not in alignment with who I am? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Also, I wanted to talk about what you're consuming on the daily, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, even physically, like, you know, what types of foods are you consuming? Everything is vibration. And um, one thing I will say that I have learned about food is I've gone organic. Like I have tried to be a vegan. My body chemistry, it, it just, it does not work for me. Do not come for me, please. Like don't please like I she knows yeah, I have you tried don't eat, like a ton of meat though you know like you just don't want to eat meat but you like have I have to. to yeah I have to and so I do all organic free range um for meat and eggs and any products mm-hmm. because um the vibration of food is the vibration that you are nurturing yourself with so um and this is why I switched to free range organic um ethical practices, because if there is, you know, um, this animal and it's in this great perpetual fear, lived this just horrible, awful life in some of the conditions that are unfortunately out there, Mm -hmm. you are consuming that vibration. And so, um, and not just that, like how far removed from the sun is what you're eating on the daily. So like potato chips, very, very far removed from the sun. An apple, that's direct sun, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not saying to like totally alter your diet or anything, I am not um, a nutritionist. I'm just saying eat more um, food that is direct, like sun and then direct to you. The more processed it is, the less removed that that pure positive energy of the sun is from what you're consuming. And I know like inflation is absolutely insane right now and organic is already expensive. expensive. I mean, I think I'm paying almost $10 for just a dozen eggs because I get the the milk clothes on milk and it's like $9 a gallon for the organic. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know um, financially it's not feasible for everybody, Um, but just, you know, where you can make improvements do. And make sure that you are consuming something on the daily that is direct from the sun. No processing in between, just straight, okay? Um, And then what are you receiving mentally, emotionally through what you consume on social media, um, any sort of TV or entertainment? Mm -hmm. Because that matters. It, It really, really does. If you're constantly bombarded with, uh, like, Twitter, Twitter is a a very good example of this. If you are constantly bombarded with other people's thoughts and opinions, it it affects you. It gets into your subconscious and it screws up your own um, vibration and energy. It's interference. Okay. That creates static. Think of it that way. Mm -hmm. So when you're consuming a lot of stuff that's counter um, productive to what we're trying to achieve here, it's going to be more like a wash You need to become consciously aware of what you're consuming at all times. Um, You know, music is very impactful on your mood. I recommend listening to stuff that's very soothing, um, balancing, or something that's uplifting and and makes you happy. Nothing that is going to bring you down or is dark or just crazy because that's where it takes your energy and your vibration. And right now you're really trying to balance your vibration out and keep that consistent for a while so change can come in. (laughs) <laughs> so really um, pay attention to what you're consuming. I actually deleted my personal social medias. I only have uh, my CEJ stuff now because yeah. she knows I was just like, I just was so tired of seeing everybody's opinions. Like my timelines used to be filled with spiritual stuff and um, like, 
people's happy pictures and, and just like really positive stuff. And over the past two years, it's like it just turned into a cesspool of negativity, of politics, of opinions, of this. And I'm just, I'm done with it. It started becoming something toxic mm -hmm. opposed to a positive outlet for me. So really pay attention to your social media. Is it toxic or is it positive? How does it make you feel? You know, um, are you flipping through the Instagram's most beautiful and feeling bad about yourself afterwards. If, if that's happening, stop that. Only look at stuff that's going to inspire you and uplift you because that's what you're feeding your consciousness. Okay. And it, so it, it's important to know what you're feeding your consciousness, what you're feeding yourself emotionally, what you're feeding yourself physically, and what you're feeding yourself spiritually. Because, you know, there is so much more to you than just this physical avatar in which you animate. And this is, we want total health across the board, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, because that's when you will be at your strongest, okay? So really start paying attention to what you are consuming, your triggers, your patterns, all right? And I just want to make sure that I have touched on everything I wanted to talk about. Oh, yes. And Kira um, kind of talked about this yesterday, when you're feeling really down, um, sad, challenged, ask spirit for that sign, and you will see a synchronistic number, your symbol, or something, right? Mm -hmm. I think I almost always see mine, almost always. Yes, yeah, so when you're feeling down, feeling low, say, give me that sign, spirit, give me that sign, and you'll get it, and it is so healing, and it just makes you feel like I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. It'll yeah. work like it'll work out. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that's everything for today. Um, don't forget to um, feel some gratitude upon waking and sleeping. Put a story in your gratitude jar. Make sure that you journal about your day and make sure that you compliment yourself and look in the mirror and say, I love you. You are doing the best that you can right now. And I am so proud of you. All right. So that is everything. We will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye, everyone. Bye.